name is Sequoia, and I am coming to you from inside the Holy Mountain Toy Vault. And for my toy review, I decided to go with something from the Holy Mountain Private Collection. And the uh, item at hand is uh, Mazinger Z from the Shogun Warriors toy line, if you remember that from the early 80s or so. Uh, but the reason why I chose this one specifically was because I, I have a personal attachment uh, to this particular character, not this specific toy. Uh, I remember mine uh, not having so many accessories and such, but um, it is one of the first two Japanese giant robot toys I ever owned as a child. Uh, I have some very uh, strong memories of constantly shooting myself in the face with uh, Mazingers, or at the time, as I knew them, Trans or Z's, uh, shooting robot fists. So, um, and this is the thing that kind of started a lifelong obsession for me with Japanese pop culture. Uh, also, you know, Japanese giant robot toys. And uh, it, just the, the thing I admire about it the most is just the aesthetic. I, I don't know why, I don't really get into like really cool, ultra sleek, sharp looking Japanese mechs. I've always been fond of like just simple, big chunk robots with like stove pipe arms and stove pipe legs and just like stoic Japanese warrior faces. Just just something about this man, just, I, I, I don't know. I love it and it cannot be beat. What kind of parent buys this toy for their child knowing that at any second, it, it's, a, it, it's got this volatile rocket system ready to fire off into that child's eye or mouth and, and killing them. You know, it, it, it's so irresponsible and, and, and an example of how lax uh, uh, safety laws were, you know, in, in, in toy manufacturing. But it's fucking cool. It's great. Uh, I, I had this guy, and I don't remember the other one's name, Big Red Guy. Um, yeah, but before I ever discovered Transformers or anything like that, or even Robotech, it was all about Shogun Wars. I, I had it as a kid, I didn't even know what the hell it was. My mom worked for a guy in the import-export business. You know, maybe he gave her the hookup, but uh, funny story. Uh, one of my fondest memories as a kid was uh, asking my mom for Transformers one Christmas. And she didn't know what the hell Transformers were. So I had to sit her down in front of the television set and show her an episode. And basically she was like, oh, okay, robots that turn into shit, I get it, whatever. And that Christmas, she somehow managed to buy me every damn Japanese robot, bootleg or legit, that turned into something other than Transformers. But you know, I mean, she got me so much stuff. She, she just, you know, she didn't bri blind me with brilliance. She baffled me with bullshit and I absolutely loved it. And you know, to this day, I love Japanese robot toys. I'm terrible at transforming them, but I still love them all the same. Thanks for checking out the Holy Mountain Toy Vault. I wish I could reveal its location, but you know, it's uh, it's one of Raleigh's best kept secrets. I uh, hope you uh, make your way into here one day, uh, if you're lucky. Uh, if not, you know, it's all online, you can order it. So, uh, except for this guy, or his brothers. They're not available either. But uh, yeah, any of the other things they got up and available, you know, check it out, buy it now, enjoy it.